everyone and welcome to number nine regiment close situated in the modern development of satan as you can see it's quite a windy afternoon so my hair's not quite as uh, covered as normal um, the property is situated and i think arguably the best situation or one of the best situations within this development it's accessed off the much quieter entrance on queen's lancashire avenue but we're also the last house before we, we go on to open fields so the views are phenomenal if you can hear me over the birds the hedge is just full of birds singing away there's only one house behind the property so we haven't got a lot of passing traffic so you're in a modern estate two minutes away is the co-op at a primary school and you've got open fields with easterly views towards Beeston and Peckforton Castle which means yes your back door is well enclosed but also westerly facing uh, around the corner of the uh, rear garden which is situated to the side so side rear garden is a large two-car driveway and a detached brick built garage so I'll show you around the house and get out of the wind so I think these style of property as well are extremely attractive being double fronted part rendered they've got a lovely look about them and i really enjoy selling them so nice wide entrance hall with high quality wood effect flooring which continues to the majority of the ground floor you've got your staircase straight up to the first floor downstairs loo which is quite a good size i love the funky wallpaper house has got a little bit of style about it and into the living room which is a real long full length room with three windows, meaning that the room is just full of natural light in the morning, it's coming in from the front and in the afternoon from here. So large, bright room, stunning views towards the hedgerow and beyond to open fields. And it's such a good size that the owners have actually put their dining table just because they enjoy the view. Everywhere, neutrally decorated, cream carpets, you know, ready to move straight into. And then into the dining kitchen, which again, mirrors the living room, full length. So it's a really good size, lots of natural light. So we've got the southerly facing front window, together with French doors onto the rear patio. And then a second window over here. So the weather's designed this, I think should, should win an award really, because the amount of light that comes in, it's just a really well designed house. We've got Smeg cooking appliances, so microwave and oven there. There is a brand new dishwasher, which has just been put in there, integrated into this cupboard, that's a Neff. And your integrated fridge freezer is here. Again, as you can see, the flooring continues. And then last but not least on the ground floor is the all-important utility room. So a couple of base units and a good tall unit here, which is where you hide your hoover and your ironing board. And obviously boilers up here, hidden out of the way with your washing machine and dishwasher. There is a rear access, so there's a, an access from the utility room with a pathway which takes you round into the back garden. So I'll take you into the back while the sun's out. Okay, so this essentially is the back of the house because obviously the garden side on. So you've got this access from the utility room, which takes you out into the rear garden, which is westerly facing. So you're gonna get the sun all afternoon, right into the evening. It's actually quite sheltered this garden because you've got a part wall boundary. Hello, there's our cat. And it's well enclosed with timber fencing thereafter. So your gate at the back takes you straight onto your driveway and gives you access to your garage. Although we've got a lot of houses around us, there's nothing that actually overlooks this property. So again, it's in a good position in terms of its privacy in the back garden. Um, so that's the garden for you. Now let me take you upstairs. Okay, so as we go up to the first floor, I will do the bedrooms in terms of their order. Um, now this is the master bedroom. So this is bedroom one, good size double bedroom. Triple fitted wardrobe, so lots of storage. And then your ensuite shower room is just off here. So again, all pretty neutral. Even from this room, you've got a partial view across the edge of the estate with a southerly view across the fields. So that's the master bedroom. Now the landing moves me on to my absolute favourite bedroom. Now this is bedroom two. Now bedroom two, what hit me when I viewed this house first was just the panoramic view. As soon as you walk in, you're just hit by the green, the sunlight, the natural light. And it's a brilliant room for just looking out of the window and just observing life. And the birds, you can see residents have put bird feeders out. So nature is all over this, this, this end of the development. Airing cupboard is through there. There's actually two airing cupboards. That's where the hot water cylinder is housed. And then there's a further useful airing cupboard, which is full of linen shelving, which again, 
good design. And we've got bedroom three in here, which although it's got a single bed in here, it could be a double bed. You could easily put a double bed on that, that wall here, in my opinion. And this garden, this room is quite nice because it overlooks the back garden, so you're getting the light in the afternoon and early evening. Now, bedroom four, or I would make a study out of this room because again, the window with a view, you'd stick your desk here and just look out the window. And there is also a bit of an alcove for storage in this room. So I've seen much smaller bedroom fours. And then last but not least is the main bathroom, which again, is just mirrors the house, neutral, pristinely looked after, ready to move into. So that's the tour of number nine Benjamin Close. As you can probably tell, or hopefully tell, I absolutely love the position of this house. And I think it's well worth a view. It's probably the favorite house I've seen on this development since they went up all those years ago. So I'd really, really recommend the view. They don't come up very often. The last property we saw, which was on the edge of the open fields, I think there was double figured amount, amounts of people who wanted to buy it. So there were so many people interested in that property, which was a townhouse. So get your viewing booked. I'd love to show you around it. Our number at Current Homes is 01244 313 900. Thank you.